as we've got the five lights on right now. The lights are off, and that is a terrible start by Atomic, unfortunately. Or a good start by Cosi, who knows? But that is the Ferrari up into but that is the Ferrari up into P2. There's a huge crash right, be right behind all of them already. Sherlock Holmes, Walt Jeremy, Sol, Thomas Jensen, Anthony, Alex Albert, I think, tangled up in there. It is still ace in P1. Cosi, hang on by a thread. Peso trying to overtake a new ball here around the outside. Will he be able to pull it off though? Gets a little bit of a shot. Oh god, that was absolutely beautiful. Peso shot. Oh god, that was absolutely beautiful. Peso shot the Tommy. Tierman shot Peso. Joshua shot Tierman. They all just shoved each other just a little bit. Gave each other a little bit of a push. But that's ace. Cool Spinning round. When does this man ever make mistakes? Well, today is the first time I think I've ever seen him make such a mistake on an opening lap of a Grand Prix. And this is one of the closest on track to a car in front. Uh, disregarding Milan right behind in P8 as well. And that's why Jamie's are already with a penalty in the first lap of the Grand Prix. And he's let, just letting Ace pass. And into the pits he goes. He's Alex Albon as he's called now. Making it a clean pass around turn five. Good job from uh, Tom Jensen there in a Williams pulling off an overtake. We don't see that very often in off sector three. Uh, always losing the rear, and that is Tillman all over his rear. Here is not quite available yet, but it will be this lap now. And so you can just see Tillman blasting past Peso. Guess what? He's oh. about 0.1 kilometer away from Timo in P3. That is indeed. Very beautifully indeed. And it's not even Peso going for an overtake. It's Joshua overtaking uh, Peso. But he is having him back. A little bit of a look up on the outside. Or is he? Oh, Peso with a huge wow. moment. Running side by side. Oh, oh that's let's see. To the pit lane, pit lane entrance. Do you bo you got to box. You have to box for entrance, don't you? You'd be mad not to. Also, you thinking about it. Atomic does it as well. But this could be a huge turning point in the race. Definitely too early for those inters at the moment. These guys will have to be so dainty on the throttle, if you might call it that. He's actually boxing. I must have had some damage or check on him in the PLA. You said he did a bit of a spinneroo. Uh, either that or he just misses those grid girls. No, he's front wing change. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, no visual <laughs> damage, but uh, the driver will feel it immediately sometimes. Into P2 as well, but he tucks into the slipstream of Harlem. Now, back on the inside, he makes it past Harlem. Thomas Jensen as well. A little bit squirmy for Thomas, and right behind, they were racing each other as well. Richie is up to P6 again, so if anything, that's helped him. P6, no, P5, around the inside, or down the inside, and doing an absolute Verstappen too happy about that they did touch definitely and uh there we go and it's three wide behind them if i can find the right button to press weasel around the outside now the inside of uh joshua right there around in return and that is not how the dutchman envisioned this grand prix to go for him but it's not over yet of course the rain is gonna let up as we heard earlier as well i wouldn't bet on any of these drivers receiving uh Christmas cards from each other. Um, by the way, that they're, they're like, just racing each other on here. Maybe they are. We don't know. Maybe some of them. But uh, I think definitely Weasel and uh, tries to send it right back. What a switch back. He's done. He's on the inside. Turns outside of turn seven now. And yeah, he's got no chance of fighting that. So that's basically the move. The move done and dusted. Current between these drivers, but yeah, Milan. That's a pretty good job, isn't it? You thought he was like. I, I told you with sandbagging, he's doing Lewis Hamilton. He could win this race. Of course, some uh, mistakes by his competition right here. Cosi and Ace both having a little bit of a nightmare at the moment. But Ace is doing a brilliant job uh, climbing up the ladder once again. Cosi knows what the no take on Sherlock Holmes. But that was still very, very fair by Ace. You have to give him that. And he is back up to P4 in his quest uh, to get that win. That is indeed Atomic and Mr. Ford Jamisel still fighting through the last few corners. A little bit of a touch. He's gonna get out ahead though. They're running too, <laughs> too wide. Oh. And, that's, and that's all for nothing. But uh, it does seem he's definitely got the pace around here today. And uh, he will make that move sooner or later. Get used to it, boys and girls out there, gladiators. 
And let's see if Rich can do anything about these two gladiators up ahead. P2 and P3 is in his grasp. Behind, not making up a position. He's going to go for a little bit of a dive bomb. Yes, he is. And Thomas Jensen, a little bit deep into that corner, helped Ace as well. And he's going to turn back in. But there is a wild Thomas there, not giving his position up and quite again against Human Server. And is, is Human going to get overtaken around the same part of the track as last lap? You're on lap 12 or 33, you're basically one third through this race. You can't be risking it for the biscuit that much. And unfortunately, the barriers take no prisoners, but here it is. Speed difference is amazing, isn't it? Look at that. Taking candy from a baby. We're taking a uh, still in this race, bringing it on lap 13. Absolutely one third of the race and done already. It's going to be a hard. I think it's more like Scott almost overtaking Thomas Jensen. It's about three tenths down of him, and that is Thomas spinning out I think completely. Oh, I spoke too soon, Thomas didn't I? Todd. I spoke too soon. Sorry, Tom. Didn't mean it. Hass is his target. Hass could be an overtake, but is he a little bit too far back? Maybe. Thinking about it, isn't he? Oh, yeah, I love that. See, you're not going to get commentary like this anywhere else in the other leagues, guys. Welcome to 256. <laughs> the biggest in the booth. <laughs> find out how to be a true champion it just motivates him i think and here we go that is going to be the move for the lead right here going into turn one down the hill again and he even and gets just yet i don't know if it's going to dry up uh, later on in the race the rain is still coming and down as you can see on the halo on the chassis right here and, and it's down down. just a little bit uh, it's, it's picked right up with ace going for the lead and Atomic setting Harlem under pressure like crazy. And oh no, why are we doing really this? We're just commentating, uh, commentators. Curse. Chance of the dryers, I have to say, Mr. Sherlock Holmes. Let's, t let's test your detective skills and see if that will pay off. Oh, well, we're surely going to see it. This is a smart play. Mr. Albon, he's back in Formula One. That rain is easing up. So if we have a couple laps on the safety car, Mr. Albon will be smiling in that helmet. If he is wearing a helmet, of course. Hopefully. Really quickly, doesn't it? When that track when the track dries up in the game, as you know, it dries up quickly. It's like all the pit crew get out there with those little leaf blowers and just dry the track in like a minute. That's how it works in this game, isn't it? <laughs> hey, see guys? This is how changeable conditions really do play into your favor if you call the right strategy, I swear. He's looking damn fine right now. It's drying. It's drying. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Don't go anywhere. After a small commo after a short commercial break, sponsored by DHL. We're always on time every time. <laughs> always on time every time. I can need a cop, so uh, let's see what's gonna happen. Yep, that's the pull away from the top three. And it's immediately Mina trying to go around well, oh. down the inside. Ah, uh, it's just squeezed him to the inside as much as possible. And uh, all those inters. Kind of the task to be on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you just need to pull it, out yeah. a You say it now. Thing. You say it now. Just wait. Just wait. Uh, just wait. No, Alvin's dropping back a couple of seconds. It doesn't matter because it's going to come into his play for sure. Oh, we've lost somebody. Oh, no. No. Don't do it to me. Don't do it to me, Alvin. He's going around the wrong way and he's lost it. And he's been disqualified. I'm, absolutely I'm not. I'm sorry, Weasel. I did doubt you. Yeah, uh, you, did. you did. I, I called you a crazy man. <laughs> <laughs> the AI of Sherlock on the Intus is overtaking everybody. Um, I'm believing in these okay. guys. I'm still believing. I believed in you, Weasel. I believe now, obviously, in Harlem. There we go. Alrighty. It is Milan still on the back. Good, good call, but he's now got soft runners behind him. Yeah, where did you get that accent from, my friend? Uh, just, uh, just make one up. Oh, that's nice. I like that. Clip that, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Clip that. That's some fresh boots. He's gone inters? Oh, mate. I don't know why you're doing that <laughs> because it's wet. It's drying up. What? what uh, come on. I mean, I've called bad strategy today, but not that bad. <laughs> Left, right. No. Hanging like a cow. Put it that way. Talk to, to Mr. Hockenberg about that one. No, absolutely. And uh, everybody in chat, of course, are free to. Oh, overtake there from Mr. Forge. He's done it on Cozy. So the Inters are definitely at play. Definitely still. I can't believe the Inters are at play when there's no rain falling on the track right now. There was no rain falling on the track. Did these Anderson drivers not get the memo? The Adams quite well for the fastest lap, but didn't split the Adams. Ooh, as, as Timo's getting past Cozzy right now for the battle for P6. 
at the back for the soft riders. That but is amazing battling <laughs> at about 5k pH and Cossie <laughs> going back into the pit. The only good thing is that I didn't bet with Fraser today about a podium because he is very close to actually scoring a podium, although he's one, one minute behind. So I was about to say one second. I'm not too used to say one or two though. This is, this is a real pickle now because he is only three seconds out of Mila. If he pits now, there's only three laps to make a difference on those soft now and the AWS <laughs> predictions coming up right now. The gap to the leader between Milan and Ace is going down rapidly. Since I've started speaking, right, dropped off completely. And uh, we'll just see, it's still 20 seconds. The gap has gone down by six seconds since yeah. the last lap, right around. Oh, well, he hasn't done too badly uh, around the season, so I think Grunto, with any of these results, would be absolutely ecstatic uh, compared to how their season are going in real life. Uh, so, so points. But still not the fast lap. If the fast lap is gonna come, it has to come right now. And of course, there's some other players in that game of the fast lap as well. This world champion so he smashed him. Could he gain three three seconds? For three seconds yeah. of a gap, indeed. And I think he's gonna Ooh. make it for sure, as it is Ace coming across the line. Just twisting 18-8. Is Milan gonna get the fast lap off oh, Fraser though? 18-8 to meet. He didn't get it. And P3 is just a thing, P3. Fraser actually on another lap. He's unlapped himself <laughs> around that one this lap It's going to be there. a driver to survive right now. Especially, uh, this is the most pit stops I've ever seen a driver finish in the top five. Ever. And here we go. Across the line. He got it. It is Woo! another fast lap by two tenths. 18 That's, points. Yeah, you can have so much fun this game as, as Ace Ritchie right now is going. That's dry. Definitely dry. Bow to your fair. He's back on the top step, isn't he? Back on the top of the championship. Ace Ritchie is back.